Good morning everyone. It is mid-January. I am on Otter Lake in Minnesota. It's right next door to Bald Eagle Lake, which I just fished, and near the town of White Bear Lake. My name's Randy. You're watching Go Midwest Fishing. So the bolt launch here is in the Bald Eagle Otter Lake Regional Park. So it's got a nice little parking area, a uh, nice bolt launch, it's even got an off-leash dog park back there. It's uh, going on 9 a.m. and there's already a bunch of people here out hiking the trails back there and stuff. I only see one shack on the lake so pretty much got it to myself I think. This is a fairly small lake, about 300 acres, kind of bowl shaped, it's fairly shallow and then it's Got a deep hole in the middle of about 20 feet. All right, I'm out right in that deepest hole of the lake. So I think it's around 20 feet or so. There's a lot of holes here drilled all around this deep hole, kind of skirting the edge of it, and there's some right in the middle here. So I'm just gonna try the deepest spot first just to see what's down there and what it looks like. And then I'll gradually work shallower until I find some weed lines, see if we can't find some fish. Although there are a lot of holes here. There's also some blood on the ice right down here. So I'm guessing something's been caught here. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna try. All right, I'm in that deepest hole now. My fish finder's showing 18 feet deep, but it's showing actually bottom at like seven feet. So I think there's a pretty thick bed of weeds at the bottom. And um, just a little bigger uh, jig on here, just trying to attract some attention, see if I can't get some fish to come around and take a look at it, see what's down here. So far, I don't see anything right here. I'm coming to get you. Yum. Oh, get <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> I think that was a bass. Well, that didn't work. Just came up and whacked me. There he is. Let's see if I can get my my line's all messed up. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get there you. He it's a bass. My bait just hit him. <laughs> uh, I'll get you from the other side. Surprise! I'm over here. There he is. Oh. That's kind of funny. He keeps coming back. Look at. I'm just fishing by hand here. Hopefully, oh, I'm probably gonna break it off on him. Here he comes. He keeps coming back. Yeah, you're not worth it. Later, baiter. I wonder if I can have time to. Look at that. I'm just totally messed up here. I don't know what happened. I jerked and the, my reel came all undone. I don't see much else down there, so I think I'm going to move it in just a little bit shallower, see if I can't find more uh, panfish. Maybe the bass are hiding up there too. Probably attracted that guy in from near the shore there, so let's uh, move on in. Alright, I didn't move very far. Move kind of right. The shack behind me, he's not here though. Uh, there's a nice reed bed sticking out right there, and then a uh, nice little shelf here. I just drilled a hole there, and it 
It looks only about three feet or so under the ice before we start hitting weeds, so. Hello. Hello. Hey you. Uh, so me right. All right, I'm showing uh, about eight feet deep here, and I can go down about four feet before I hit the weeds. They're pretty thick in there. I mean, I can literally just look down and see my bait. So I'm not that far down. So far I'm not seeing anything right here and there's one tall weed growing up right directly below my hole here. So I keep snagging on it. So I think I'm going to go try near that bigger hole again. Let's go on the south end of it. I saw a lot of holes drilled there. Uh, getting just a little bit deeper water and try that. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Hey, where did everyone go? This is a little strange. I just went to the south end of that deep hole, put the camera down, and it's pretty much just barren ground. All the weeds are gone. I'm showing about 14 feet down, and uh, like I said there's no weed bed to raise up the bottom there. So a uh, little bit of rocks, not not a whole lot down there. So I don't know. Maybe I got to go in just till I find where that weed edge starts and try it there. But I'll dig a few times, see if we can't raise something over here. Well, I didn't have to move very far and I found the weed line and uh, you see right behind me there's a giant hole in the ice somebody cut open a big uh, they put sticks in it so we didn't fall in um, they're all over this lake though so I'm wondering if somebody was trying to spear or do something like that because they cut a lot of big holes in the ice they're using uh, minnows obviously you can see they dumped them in the hole there now they're all frozen fish finder showing nine feet deep with weeds at about six and a half feet so this might be a good spot to try I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit, see if I can't attract something in. I think just for the fun of it, I drilled a hole here beside the shack. I'm gonna put that robotic lure on the tip up and just let it play around, have a little fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's something new. What is it? It looks interesting. Okay, maybe I am interested. Well, let's take a close look. Hey, try to bite me. Oh man, he swims far. I got him swimming up right now, so he's all over the place. And he's. Why am I right on over to this hole? All right, let's get him untangled and get him back down there. Watch out, I'm swimming out of control. I'm going down and I'm stuck in the weeds. All right, one more look at this thing. Yeah, you ain't fooling anybody. I'm out of here. Hey, if you're new to this channel, just want to say welcome and thanks so much for watching. We're all about camping and fishing throughout the Midwest. I also love to do lake reviews. I was really frustrated with the lack of information on new lakes that I wanted to fish, so I decided to just go out and fish them, document the whole thing, and tell you everything I learned about fishing the lake. Today we're on Otter Lake, and if you want to see more, you can go to GoMidwestFishing.com Click search now and you'll find the whole library of lakes that I've already been to. Alright, let's get back to fishing. Hey, remember me? And I'm slowly backing away. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh.
him over he hit it though oh man I almost had him that was weird Yep, snapped right off. I uh, kind of took me by surprise there. My bait, uh, <laughs> my bait was literally just sitting there for the last ten minutes. I haven't moved it. I jiggled it once, and a big northern just poof, snapped it right off. Oh boy! All right, well that was kind of exciting. <laughs> uh, so I literally just I was just doing a little sound test to see if I could hear it, all this noise under the ice. I just rolled the four wheeler back and forth and stomped on the ice. Uh, you'll see that video coming up real soon and uh, yeah didn't seem to bother the fish at all all right literally just a few minutes after that northern just hit a bluegill just came through so I just put on a smaller a little jig with some power bait I just changed over my other pole to I got a cast master golden jig here with a minnow head Let's see if we can't lose another one put a longer leader on this time so I don't know Although it snapped up higher, I just got a little excited on that northern and jerked a little too hard, I think. <laughs> Let's see if we can't get that bluegill to come back, though. Oh, there's a, what is it? It's a big fish down there. What is it? Oh my gosh. Holy crap, it's coming up to the, oh, it's a northern. He's checking out the camera. Put down, I got, oh, we hit the key bit to the camera. What the heck's he doing? Here, put down my bigger bait. <laughs> he just went, oh, he's attacking the camera. What the heck? He's spinning it around. You better not eat my camera. I can't see this. My bait, he turned the camera on me. Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, he's right in front of the camera. Oh, okay. I'll try not to break it off this time. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, he just swished the camera again. <laughs> probably go for that little rattle bait I have. Oh, he's looking at the robotic lure that's not even moving. Oh, that was a cool shot. Oh, that camera's all pointing the wrong way. Come on. Oh, here's back. He's back. All right, it's two o'clock. I think it's about time to head home. Getting ready for uh, fishing tomorrow. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.